Hey everybody, it's me Stacy, licensed designer for Sizzix Jacquard and Couture Creations. Welcome to today's Take Two Tuesday event where I feature my Sizzix products, my Jacquard products, and my Couture Creations. We generally take two or three of the products, pair them together, and do a fun and simple make. Now this week, I'm expanding on what I did last week. My May collection for Sizzix launches globally May 1st. I'm so excited. Cannot wait. <laughs> so over the past few weeks, I have been walking you through this collection. Last week, we did this yummy card using one of my new stamp and stencil sets. The stencil comes with the stamp. Now, last week we just played with the stamps and I showed you how you can do the flowers or the leaves or the butterflies. They were all separate so you could build your own scene and then we played with my inks. This week we're going to incorporate the stencil as well since it does come in the package. Now the beautiful thing about the stencil is it is a standalone stencil so it will work whether you want to use the stamp or not. So you kind of have a little bit of goodness in that package because you can use the stencil all by itself, you can use the stamp all by itself, or you can pair them together. Options are yours but not until May 1st. I can't wait, it goes global May 1st, so you'll be able to find it at all of your favorite independent retail stores, your favorite online stores, and again, that's worldwide. Now, if you are looking at the description of this video, you will see that we have posted some retailers who are currently carrying the Stacy Park March collection from Sizzix. So if you haven't had the opportunity to take a look at my March collection, by all means, visit these wonderful retailers. They have it, they have it in stock. And the March collection and the May collection, they build together. So that's the whole idea of my collections is that it builds upon each other so that they are always something you wanna have ready on your maker table, ready to go. Bing, bang, boom, let's create. So today, today it is all about my fabulous new stamp and stencil set. And I'm gonna tilt on down. We're gonna get started for today because I really wanna share with you how amazing the stencil is all by itself, but then how beautiful it all looks when you pair them together. Are you ready? All right, down we go. It's good to see everybody, and thanks for being here as part of my Take Two Tuesday. There is a live chat going on if you are joining me during the premiere, a live chat going on right over there. By all means, type in hello, hello, and if you wouldn't mind, I'd appreciate it if you would like this video. Just hit that like because, well, that makes the YouTube gods happy. <laughs> all right, let's get started. Down we go. And zoom on in, zoom, zoom, zoom. I'm my own camera person. All right, so last week we were playing with this set and it is a stamp and stencil set. Each item is individual, the leaves are individual, the floral is individual, the two butterflies are individual, and then I was able to put on the, the stamp set several sentiments. You know what, I'm gonna back it here so you can see it. Several sentiments. This way you're able to build whatever it is you want to build. You've got the butterflies, you've got the leaves. You could just do falling leaves as a background. You've got the floral, you could just do the butterflies, or you can take these sentiments and use them on any card at any time or part of your layout or junk journaling or mixed media. So this is what we played with last week. We're gonna come back to it a little bit later on, but included in the package also is a single layer stencil. And the single layer stencil has everything you need to coordinate with the stamp set. You've got the beautiful florals, you've got the leaves, you've got the butterflies, but I was able to add some layering elements. So you're gonna actually be able to layer on your butterflies and add a little bit more detail. 
I also had a little bit of room, so we added in some sentiments. You have, you are special, you are kind, you are loved, and built right into this stencil. Since I had the room, I thought, well, let's take advantage of it, right? The more, the merrier. Now, because it's a single layer stencil, there will be some masking that needs to be done, and I'm gonna do that with my posty notes. You may use masking film, it's whatever makes your heart happy, but for today, I'm gonna use my, my trusty, dusty, post notes. I'm also going to be using my stencil and stamp tool. So this is a Sizzix stencil and stamp tool. It will be a stamp positioner a little bit later on. It is meant for layering stencils. It has an alignment tool that works with it and I use this all the time when I am using my layering stencils. Today I'm using a single layer stencil so I'm not going to need to use my alignment tool today. I'm going to be fine without it. I want to start with the stencil just to give you an idea of how it works and what can be done with it. So I'm going to grab my blending here. Now this piece right here, in case you're not aware, this is called Sticky Grid and it comes on and off your stencil and stamp tool. You get a full sheet of it. It's an A4 sheet with your stencil and stamp tool and it has the tack of a post-it note. So this is meant to hold your paper in place. Eventually there will come a time where I've done this so many times that the oils from my hand will make it not sticky anymore or maybe I got glitter on it or some embossing powder and you will need to replace it. That's a really long time away. I'm going to tell you they last for a really long time but Sizzix does sell a replacement pack of five in the A4 size and that would last you quite some time. And again, you just really, you just peel it off and put it down. So I'm gonna put my paper down and I want you to see that it holds it in place. But when I need to pull it up, it lifts right up. But when I need to put it down, it holds it in place. And because my stencil is a little bit larger, I'm gonna use that sticky grid to hold my stencil also in place. Not that it's going to keep it, not that it's going to keep it from popping up in some areas. I'm going to have to make sure that I have my hands properly placed, but it is going to hold it down onto the paper without having to add extra tape or anything like that. The sticky grid is going to hold it just fine. So I'm going to kind of decide where I want to start. And I'm, I'm going to start with my flower. I'm going to use my blending mat. I'm going to slide that right underneath this. My blending mat. And I've got my flower here. Right here. So I need to mask off everything else. If we had done a multiple layer stencil for you, there wouldn't be any masking. But I wanted to have this affordable, something that everybody could achieve. So I thought, you know what, we'll just do it all on one stencil and we'll mask everything off. The stamp set is a full A5 stamp set, so it's, it's big, but each individual element isn't big, and each individual element of the stamp and stencil set can be used on its own or in conjunction with something else on the, the set really very 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 handy there's lots to be done with this set even just as simple as taking those leaves and making a falling leaves background all right so I've masked off pretty good I've got just my floral going on right there and I'm gonna start with my Stacy Park Jacquard inks and let's add a little bit of green because I'm gonna do a little bit you know I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow first I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, maybe to the whole thing. So I'm just gonna do a little bit of yellow all the way. I just like to start with a base color. I'm even gonna do a little bit of yellow on my stem. I just always like a base color. So a little bit of yellow going on. Okay, that works for me. 
and then maybe a little bit of green for my stem. And again, these are Jacquard inks. They're the Stacy Park brand. They are dye based, they are water soluble, and they don't make mud. <laughs> I think that's probably one of the most important things is that they don't make mud. So I'm adding a little bit of green up into my flowers. I think that looks pretty good. And then let's maybe add a little bit of cranberry fizz and I'm just taking my inks off to the side just taking my inks off to the side tapping off desaturating a little bit so that I can come in and add some color so my inks are highly saturated. Very, very bold in their colors. Which means you can desaturate them to soften those colors, which is what I've just done. I might take a little bit more of my yellow. Come back in and maybe make that color a little bolder and blend those together and this is all personal preference what colors you use and what your final result is. I think that might look really pretty. So let's take off my posty notes. And let's see what I've got. Okay, really pretty. Soft and beautiful. Now I can decide what I want next. Do I want one of my leaves? I think I'll put that leaf right there. Got a leaf right there. So again, I'm just gonna take those same posty notes and I'm just gonna work right around it just to make sure that I don't get any ink where I don't want any ink. And I just surrounded my, my leaf right there and I'm gonna start with my yellow again. And then I'm going to come back in with my green. And I'm doing a little darker here, a little lighter up top where that yellow is staying yellow. really dark towards the bottom. All right, I think that looks good. Pull it up. And now I've got my leaf going on. Do we want a butterfly? Of course we want a butterfly. <laughs> See, look at with that little bit of yellow. It just adds a little bit of depth and dimension and shading just a little bit. And 
Let's do Let's do that butterfly. So I'm going to come around and cover anything and move it just a hair. Cover anything I don't want to accidentally stencil. Some of you may have stenciling film to do this with. I find post-it notes work great. And I think I'm going to come in here and I'm going to do this in blue. So I've got my blue J. And I am going to seriously desaturate it. I'm going to tap, tap, tap off. I want a really light color. So sweet and so light. Almost a whisper of color which is what I've got right there, just a whisper of color. Perfect. Now I can come back with that layering piece. Line it up. Again, mask off anything I don't want to accidentally color. I don't want to get my paper, so I'm going to mask off that paper too. And now I'm going to come back with the same blue, and I'm going to go a little more intense. A little more intense. Look at the difference. Can you see how intense that color is? And then I might come in with just a little bit of my cranberry fizz. So I have 12 colors with Jacquard, 12 inks and re-inkers with more colors coming in July. And all of my inks have matching glitter, microfine glitter. Ooh, I like this. <laughs> Happy with this. Let's see what it looks like when we're all done. Let's pull it up. Oh, see, that looks so pretty. So pretty. And then, do I want to put a sentiment? Maybe here. And let's mask off around. I can go in with my black, which is called Carbon Copy. And there is my UR. And 
and then maybe you are kind. Or you are love. No, you are kind. And in one stencil, you have everything you need. And we haven't even played with the stamp set and the stencil yet. Okay, let's do the kind. You are kind. I'm going to wipe down my stencil because my inks are water soluble. So a baby wipe, it's going to clean it all up. Easy peasy. Baby wipe takes care of all of it. And I'm ready to start again. Now I can add a little bit of something something to this. So I think I'm gonna move this off to the side and I think I'm gonna bring over some of my yellow. Add a little bit of water to it. Make it into a paint. Typically I do this with my reinkers. And just do a little bit of background to this. And maybe, maybe just a little bit of my cranberry fizz. Same thing, make it into a paint. Do a little splatter background to take away some of the whiteness. Okay, that works for me. Wipe down my blending mat, which is by Woodware. This is half the size of the blending mat. I've cut it in half. And now I can Finish this one off, and then we can move over to doing the stamp and the stencil. All right, you would use a trimmer. I tend to freehand. I think that's close enough. Let's grab some of my tape, my double-sided adhesive. We'll back it and mat it and move on. See, it's kind of now got that watery look to it. I love it. I'm just going to do a really fine black mat.
Nothing too big. Oh, Stacy. Well, my water was still wet and I just smeared it. All right, live and learn. So I didn't wait for my water to dry. <laughs> okay, it is what it is. pretty. So my videos are not edited or scripted. So what happens happens. And we just roll right through it. I may come back and fix that. I like it on the blue. Felt like I had two pieces of paper. <laughs> may come back and fix that do it on white and just pop it right over the top so nobody sees it we'll see but I'm gonna put it there next we're gonna move on to the stamps and the stencils so I am going to bring over my stencil and stamp tool I am gonna put the lid back on because now I'm going to be using it as a stamp positioner I'm gonna grab a piece of paper and I'm going to decide where I want those stamps to be. This one. So let's bring over the stamp set. And let's decide what I want it to look like. Maybe this time I do. Kind of a falling leaf background. And I come through. ink put my lid right back on it just pops right into place you don't have to click it or anything put it down give a good press and you've got yourself an amazing stamp positioner and then let's move my stamps So maybe I go this way and ink up. Now it's left a little bit of an impression because I still have ink there. But because this is a positioner, it's going to line back up. And I'm good to go. Now let's see where we want our stamps to go. Maybe 
maybe like that. And I'm just randomly putting them where I put them. And we're just going to make an all over background. So I'm not using the butterflies, I'm not using the flower. I'm just making a background. Maybe fill in some of the space. And keep inking until I'm happy. I don't know how big I want to go. Do I want to do an A2, a 5 by 7 a slimline? See, you have options because you decide how big you want your, your stamp design to be. This is all about you. I think I'm going to do this one there. And then I think I'll be about done. I think that'll give me a nice falling leaves background. And I think I'll put this one here. Did I want this one anywhere else? No, I think I'm going to leave it. So now I've got my stamped image done. And yes, I've stamped on my sticky grid, and that's going to be just fine. It's going to work out, not a problem. Now I get to bring over my stencils. And I can just line them right up. Line it right up. Mask off anything I don't want to be stenciled. I 
think I might want to use some of my orange. Let's see. Orange. So I want to make sure I don't get my paper. And I'm just going to go around and I'm just going to do all of my all of my leaves and we're just going to make a falling leaves background. Start with my yellow because that's me. Bring over my blending mat. I kind of slide it underneath my paper. A little bit of yellow. A little bit of yellow. A little bit of green. Maybe just a touch of orange. Done. Moving on. And it lines up perfect. Now I just keep moving this around, finding my, my shapes. And maybe this one I do mainly green. Done. Move on. And I have this one down here. And I just line it up. Good, it's just right off the side there. Done. Moving on. And down here. And look at how easy and fast I am coloring these. This is all up to me. All up to me. Bing, bing, boom. And I just keep moving this around and finding my leaves. And these are just two of the stamps that are on that entire set. This is just two of them. I'm just having at it in no time at all. I have colored these and I have made it look like I was a pro. Because <laughs> the stencil is doing all the work. <laughs> Yay for the stencil. I haven't changed my posty notes. They've stayed where they are. Dark, 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 and then light, 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 light. Oh, I love this. Okay, we're getting there. Can you see how quick and how easy this is? The 
The stencil and stamp tool made the stamping super fast and super easy. The stamp gives you so many options because you have you have different stamps on it. It's not just a one image type of thing. Oh no, no. I have one more. And then we'll move on. But I really wanted to show you how you can take just two stamps out of that entire set and make a lovely, lovely background. And I'm, I'm just quick inking. I'm not giving too much thought to anything. I'm a just go for it kind of girl. And the inks, the inks take care of themselves. Look at where I'm at. The inks take care of themselves. All right. Let's do the other one super fast, just so you can see. So let's line it up. Okay, Stacy, <laughs> line it up. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> and then let's mask around everything we don't want to be colored. So I don't want that, nor that, nor that. Make sure I get, there we go. I want to make sure I get that stem. Okay, I think that's good. And we just do a wash, rinse, and repeat. And I just go in and I ink to my heart's content. And then lift it up. And move it around. So it doesn't get too much easier than this. This is a complete item. Everything you need from the sentiments to the opportunity to make many, many different designs. I love this. Look at how fast and simple that is. Crazy, right? Just done. And you don't have to have any talent in coloring. All right, I've got just two more, and then we are done.
and we made a completely different completely different look than the flower and the butterflies. We took this in a totally different direction that maybe you were like, hmm, I don't see how she's going to get that done. Can you really just use those two to make a beautiful background? I think so. And my last one. And no mud. Done. Now what do I want to do with it? I have no idea. <laughs> but I wanted you to see how quick and easy this can be. You're like, wait, you just inked all of those. I know, <laughs> but that's okay. How pretty would that be? With the green and the yellow. Love it. Love it. And it wasn't hard. I might use this for the envelope. Wasn't hard at all. And it shows a whole different side of the stamp and stencil set. And it all launches May 1st. This is a beautiful set. <laughs> I love it. Of course, I'm a little biased. I agree. But I always try to build as much value into a set as I can. I always want to have as much value into a product as I can possibly get in there. Trust the timing of your life. That's from one of my other sets. So I'm just going to put this down super fast. You would do a better job. All right, so we played today. We used just the stencil element of one of my new sets for May. But we also used 
just the stencil all by itself. But with this one, I use the stamp and the stencil. Opportunities await. It's just around the corner. May is not far. And what you can do with all of these wonderful products, the Jacquard inks that don't make mud, water, look at water reactive. These I painted last week. Remember we did these last week? But then look here. Isn't that beautiful? The stamp and the stencil. But look here. Just the butterflies. The stamp and the stencil. But look here. <laughs> the stamp and the stencil. They're magic. Here, just the stencil. And here, just the stencil. And yet they're in different places because the stamp, this one doesn't have the butterflies at all. The stamps are all individual. So you use them how you want. Love this one. I love the watery. I love the reactiveness. I love the background. But I think this one is absolutely stunning and easy and done and works for anybody, guy, girl, everybody. Put a sentiment on there and you are good to go. All right, you guys. I'm Stacy. I'm a licensed designer for Sizzix, Jacquard, and Couture Creations. My next collection from Sizzix is May 1st. And today, today we featured my butterflies that has the stamp and the stencil built right in. I know that several online retailers have it on a notify me. Go visit them, click that notify me button. The SKU is 66643. And I will be back next week with more of my May collection as we are counting down to the first when it is a global launch. Visit your independent retailers. Look at the independent retailers we are featuring today and the one, the online. See if they've got it on a notify me li list and click that notify me. All right, you guys, it's me, Stacy. I will see you next week for our next Take Two Tuesday event. Until then, thank you for being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for, for just having a great time with me. And don't forget to hit the like button. Bye, everybody.